So, action imminent. Des Gahal to call him. You must know me. Disputes the lead with Knock and King towards the inside and towards the outside is Ample Appeal as they make their way across now to the fence at the bottom of the track and now begin to make the swing across where they'll have a long run before they reach fence number two as the next one, the ditch, is omitted. So you must know me and Andrew Lynch leads Knock and King with Don't Back Down. In third place, they're followed by Boston Bob, who's towards the inside of Competitive Edge. Ample Appeal is on the outside. Royal Orr is next. And then comes Poland's Corner. So passing the omitted fence and beginning to make the run to take them for the approach to the turn in, where they'll face up to the three in the straight, two, three, and four now. You Must Know Me leads. Don't Back Down is second. A couple of lengths to knock and King. On the outside is Competitive Edge followed by Boston Bob, and then comes Ample Appeal, Royal Ore, and Boland's Corner. On they come now, two miles ahead of them, facing up to fence number two, and you must know me in the red jacket, is the leader for Andrew Lynch, to in second place. Don't back down, Davy Russell the near side. Knockgraff and King is towards the inner, and they're being followed by Competitive Edge and Boston Bob. On the descent, they're followed by Royal Ord, and towards the inside is Boland's Corner with ample appeal, just the back marker. Down the hill they come towards number three, and You Must Know Me is the leader. Don't back down, knock Raffin King, competitive edge, and then comes Boston Bob as they clear this one. Make the way on now to the fourth, which will be the, obviously the final fence after another circuit. And you must know me, bowls along in the lead, followed by Knockgraff and King, and then towards the near side, don't back down. Royal Oars made a bit of ground, competitive edge, Boland's Corner, Boast and Bob, in between horses and ample appeal. On up past the stands they come and begin to make the run to the fence past the stands, which will be the fifth. And now the first ditch, as you must know me, leads from Don't Back Down second. In third place is Competitive Edge. Four is Knockgraff and King, Boston Bob, Ample Appeal, Royal Orr, and Boland's Corner. Swinging away from the stands on towards the next fence, which is number five, and the first and only ditch. You must know me from Don't Back Down, Competitive Edge, Knockgraff and King and Boston Bob. And they're being followed by Ample Appeal, Royal Ore and Boland's Corner. Over that one, making the turn now to race back straight. And they reach the halfway stage. On the descent now down towards number six. And You Must Know Me continues to bowl along in the lead, being followed in second place by Knockgraff and King. Then don't back down, Boston Bob, competitive edge, being followed by Royal Ore, Ample Appeal, and Boland's Corner. Right across from the stands and heading down the far side. In the lead is You Must Know Me, followed in second place. Over that by Knockgraff and King, and don't back down, just behind them is Boston Bob as they race now to the fence, which brings them up now to just about the mile pole. And You Must Know Me three in front, not and King. Don't back down a faller there and hampered competitive edge as they head away from that fence. It is You Must Know Me now about five lengths clear of not and King with in third place Boston Bob and they're followed by competitive edge with Royal Orb Boland's Corners gone there and leaves ample appeal to back marker. And as they continue on now down the far side, Davy Russell just yet to get to his feet. So they're going on now to the last fence in the far side. And in the lead is You Must Know Me, who's out five, six in front. Boston Bob on the outside of Knockgraff and King. Competitive Edge is then followed by Royal Ore and Ample Appeals. So they jump the last on the far side. Now they've got a long run for the straight. And as they begin now to make the run across the bottom with a good long run to three out, you must know me is four to five in front. Boston Bob beginning to close the gap second. Knockgraff and King is third in competitive edge four. Royal or an ample appeal. So they're bypassing this fence on the far side to approach the straight now. And Davy Russell on his feet and has walked away from his fall. So they're coming now to make the run and also 
uh, remounted was Boland's corner, David's plane. So in front, you must know me, is five in front. In second place is Boston Bob with competitive edge and proving to dispute the second with Boston Bob. And they've gone on clear of Royal Or and then knock Raff and King. So homeward bound, three to jump. You must know me, Boston Bob, competitive edge, the one, two, three. And three from the finish. You must know me, the leader, from Boston Bob in second place, as they clear that one and now make the descent down towards the second last. You must know me in the lead from Boston Bob. Competitive edge is third, as they race downhill now towards the second last. And you must know me and Andrew Lynch in front. The long odds on favorite Boston Bob is in second place on the far side. You must know me at the second last over. Boston Bob now within a length on the outside and moving alongside as they race down towards the final fence now and it is Boston Bob and you must know me on the near side not much between them clear of competitive edge coming down to the final fence and you must know me on the near side Boston Bob the far side and over it they're over together Boston Bob on the far side of you must know me who's trying to rally on the stand side as they run up towards the finish and Boston Bob made to work hard for his victory and will score by half a length from you must know me well cleared of competitive edge Knockgraf and King and Royal Orr.